Welcome to God's Handiwork, our daily devotional. Remember that you are God's handiwork, created in Jesus Christ, to do God's work, which God prepared in advance for you to do. This is Minister Alice from Dallas, Texas. You go to God as a son or a daughter, and God hears you. So let's read Joel chapter 2, verses 18 through 19. Then the Lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send grain and new oil and new wine, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach amongst the nations. So in our modern day words, when God says, I will answer and God, the Lord will answer and say to his people, behold, I will bring you grain. Bringing grain means that he will refresh us. For those who do not have, he will bring, he will provide for us. And he will give us new wine and new oil. He will give us a new anointing. He will, he will sustain us. And if you read Joel chapter 1, this reminds me of the times that we are living in. When we want to provoke the heart of God, those are the things that we need to be live. That is how we're supposed to be living our life. So that God can provide for us and give to us. Right? When we say here, read um, Joel chapter 1 verses 1. Joel chapter 1 verses 1. It reminds us of what is going on now. In our, in our everyday life. It says, Hear this, you elders, and give ear, all you inhabitants of the land. Has anything like this happened in your days? This is the word of the Lord that came to Joel. And it says in verse 2, Tell your children about it. Tell your children to tell their children and the children and, and another generation. So to provoke heaven, you need to see that the things that have happened in the past Remember how God has taken us from one place to another. Now with that verse that we just spoke about, it comes to remembrance of what is happening now. We have COVID-19. This has never happened before. The last time anything, a pandemic that happened was in what? Um, 1918. Now we hear planes are falling from the sky. Planes that are, are built and, and modeled in Europe, they are falling from the sky. We are hearing of all these volcanoes, wildfires, things that were never seen before. And that is where we see that things are changing in the world. And without God, we cannot move forward. We cannot live victoriously. That is why it is so important to know how to touch the heart of God. Even during a catastrophe that we are able to go to the throne of grace and we pray and God hears us. We need to work on our salvation with fear and trembling. We need to live a righteous life. So when we go to God, he hears us. The, the Bible says that we need to check our hearts. So when we return to the Lord, when we go to plead to him, he hears and he answers us. That is the God that we are serving. Let us remember to provoke heaven provoking God by being righteous, sanctifying ourselves, giving to the widows and the, and the orphans, giving to the house of the Lord, giving of ourselves, giving of our time, that is a sacrifice. Then we can put God in remembrance. It's like when you go to the court, the, the, when you watch you know, the, the movies or when you go to court, you stand before a judge, then you say, I'm coming to you, judge, with this is what the law has said. This is the precedence. I'm coming to you to say that this has happened before and I want you to consider the judgment for me with this because you are trying to plead your case. It's the same thing as a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ, as a child of God. When you go to God, you want to remind God you that you are deserving of this favor. You are deserving of his mercy. You are deserving of his grace. But the only way you can provoke the heart of God is by making him the center of your life, seeking him day and night, following the principles of God, because God is a God that is moved by his word and his principles. <music>